This seminar will discuss the file systems on the new Compute Canada clusters. Compute Canada provides a wide range of storage options to cover the needs of our very diverse user community. Our solutions range from high-speed temporary local storage to different kinds of long-term storage. These file systems are a shared resource and for, for this reason must be used responsibly. They are designed to store a limited number of very large files, typically binary rather than text files. Therefore, users must avoid storing thousands of small files, each less than one megabyte in size. Here are some of the best practices. Only use text format for files that are smaller than a few megabytes. As far as possible, use local storage for temporary files. If your program must search within a file, it is fastest to do it by first reading it completely before searching, or using a RAM disk. You should regularly clean up your data in the scratch and project spaces to free up space for new data. If you no longer use certain files, but they must be retained, archive and compress them, and if possible, copy them elsewhere. Here are our different storage types. We have the network file system, which is under home. This is accessible from all nodes and it has poor throughput and high latency. However, it is long term. This should not be used for jobs because the performance is poor. However, it is good to store important long term files like your source code. Then we have a long term parallel file system under project. This is accessible from all nodes. Throughput is fair and latency is high and the storage is long term. So any files you put in there will be there as long as you have your account. Then the short term parallel file system, which actually has somewhat better but comparable performance to the project file system. It is available on all nodes of the cluster. The throughput is fair and the latency of operations is high. Now this file space is cleaned periodically. So you have to have a plan to remove your files from it once you're finished with them. Then we have the local file system under temp. This is local to the compute node. Its throughput is fair and latency is medium. And this is meant for very short term storage. So any files you put in there should only exist while the job is running and should be taken off and copied elsewhere or deleted shortly thereafter. And finally, we have the system RAM which is local to the node. It has good throughput and very low latency, but the data in the RAM exists only while the job is running and it is cleaned after every job. The quotas on these file systems are the following. On your home space, you can have 50 gigabytes of data and 500,000 files. This space is regularly backed up. It is never purged. It is available to all users by default and it is mounted on compute nodes. The scratch space, a user can have up to 20 terabytes of data and 1 million files. And a group can have 100 terabytes of data and 10 million files. This space is not backed up. So if you delete your data, it's gone. And all the files older than a certain number of days are deleted. This is available by default to all users and it is mounted on compute nodes. The project space has the default allocation of one terabyte per user for each cluster. However, a user can request an increase up to 10 terabytes. And the limit is 500,000 files per user. This space is regularly backed up and it is never purged. It is available by default and it is mounted on compute nodes. Finally, nearline space, it is meant for longer term storage. The quota is five terabytes per group. It is not backed up, it is never purged, it is not available by default, and it is not mounted on compute nodes. To check how much space you are using, you should use the standard Unix commands such as du. du-h will display your disk usage in convenient units. You can also use the find command. In this example, I am showing how to use a find command to locate all your files greater than 100 megabytes in your current directory and all its subdirectories. Other ways to monitor your file usage will be made available later. If you find that you are not well served by the available storage options, please contact us by sending email to support at computecanada.ca. 
If you require more storage space than available by default quota, it is possible to request it in our annual RAC competition. For more information, please go to the Compute Canada wiki at docs.computecanada.ca and search for storage and file management.